from everything that we could hear and see, it really seemed as if the crowd at Trump's recent CNN town hall was all in on the whole MAGA thing, cheering and laughing and snickering and, and generally making fools of themselves. But is it possible that we have been too hard on them? Now, apparently, we're now finding out from a report, many audience members at CNN's town hall, former President Donald Trump, were disgusted and bewildered by the spectacle, but were told to be respectful and not to boo. Republican political consultant Matthew Bartlett said in an interview with Puck News, the floor manager came out ahead of time and said, please do not boo, please be respectful, you are allowed to applaud. And I think that set the tone where people were going to try their best to keep this between the navigational beacons. Is that what happened? And that if they felt compelled to applaud, they would, but they weren't gonna have an out, outburst and they weren't gonna boo an answer. In a TV setting, you hear the applause, but you don't see the disgust. So Trump did not have the entire room on his side, make no mistake, even if it certainly came across that way on TV. So look, um, if that's what the floor manager came out and said, then I wasn't there. I can't dispute that that happened, but um, I can dispute a little bit of what he says there. So first of all, in a TV setting, you hear the applause, but you don't see the disgust. Well, it is TV though, not old time radio news hour. They could go to a shot of the crowd and show the disgust if they want to. They went to crowd shots to show the raucous applause, the laughter. Were the cameras off when that disgust was registering? And the idea was, okay, lots of people desperately wanted to show that they were against this guy. They were all told to keep it between the navigational beacons. I don't know, I mean, I, I guess the, the laughing at the victim of sexual assault, that isn't taking us out of the navigational beacons. Maybe he's trying to make the case that there were all sorts of people there and some of them were abiding by the rules and others were crazy and they happened to like Trump. But I don't know, the end result is still that it really did seem as if a lot of people were put in that audience that were primed to love every single vicious, horrific thing that he said. But what do you think? Am I being too hard on the audience? What do you think? No, the rules were stupid. The rules weren't even in line with their stated goal. Their stated goal was to be respectful. But a rule against booing does not ensure that the audience vibes are those of a respectful, kind, decent group. What you're doing is allowing, is denying the fact that some people go woohoo as an attempt to vehemently be an a hole. And that's all we saw. And so in, instead of banning disrespect and allowing respect, they just allowed the behavior of the Trump people to go however the Trump people wanted it to. And they disallowed the behavior of the respectful people to happen in a respectful way. And so what you ended up having was essentially something very similar to a laugh track on a sitcom. It's something I that they that put in there. Point. So that, that you, was, what's, yeah. It was, they, some of his comments were getting the exact same. It might've literally been taped from when Al Bundy would walk through the door and then they have to pause for a minute because everyone's like, yeah. That's but, what it was. Yeah, and so exactly, and that and they they're stupid. And then if you're asking like, was this calculated by the CNN people to be evil and in support of Trump? No, they're just that dumb. Is my I will stand by the idea that these folks are just dumb. They didn't want something to be a boo fest. They didn't want it to seem like CNN had this guy on and then mm -hmm. allowed folks to just be mean to him. Yeah. They wanted to have a civil discourse, but in the meantime, they let Trump come on there and have print out a tweets and just hold court his way. It's unilateral yeah. unilateral disarmament. And so I'm not against Ooh. Trump having a town hall. I'm against whatever stupid decision CNN made after that. Less than one full day after Donald Trump was found civilly guilty in the sexual abuse lawsuit by E. Jean Carroll, ordered to pay her $5 million. He decided to go on CNN, have a town hall, and then repeat the exact same claims that, that found him in this legal trouble uh, that he's in. So that theoretically has consequences, and we're gonna turn to those now. So during the event, he uh, claimed again to have never met Carol before admitting that, okay, he has actually met her. 
He called her a whack job. He said that she only won the trial because of a rigged deal. I guess everything's just rigged. He can't even be bothered to come up with new like excuse adjectives. It's just all the same thing. He said again, physically, she's not my type. And now that I've gotten in directly to hear things about her, she wouldn't be my type in any way, shape or form. He said that about the woman who he's been found to have sexually abused so that a crowd of people on live TV could laugh at her. She has since responded saying she was asleep at the time and did not learn of his comments calling her claim of a decades old sexual assault fake and a made up story until the following morning. It's just stupid, she said, it's just disgusting, vile, foul, it wounds people. She said she'd been insulted by better people though. Now she is weighing whether to file a new defamation lawsuit against Mr. Trump. Bear in mind, she already has one additional defamation lawsuit that is still proceeding, but I am not enough of a lawyer and unfortunately Adrian is no longer the program to know if you are found civilly guilty of saying statement X and then O amount Y, if you then just say X again, is that baked into what you already paid with Y? Or right. can they just haul you in again and add it to your tab? I don't know how that works, Brett. What do you think? I know that, I don't know. So in, so in criminal court, there's double jeopardy. You can't be tried twice for the same crime. But if you do the crime again, it's like, I think if a serial killer gets out of jail and kills again, it's not like, you know, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, there's no way that he should be allowed to do this kind of stuff. Um, just it doesn't pass the smell test. It's not like you just bought a license to keep being horrible. If you do it yeah. again, you should be able to get held criminal li criminally liable again. And it depend and he's he's not just paying her all this money. He's paying a bunch of legal fees is on his own. It's it it can't be good for him. And my contention with Donald Trump is you just have to remind people that he's just so much. He's just so much, and it's not yeah. good. And yeah. And he is reminding a lot of folks in this era that he is so much and he, he's, he's not good. I think the CNN town hall made you rethink that because the CNN town hall, he was horrible, but people were cheering. So maybe he's just fun, like a contemptible cad, but <laughs> still like affable. Yeah. But with yeah. this, like the guy was found criminally liable in this in a sexual assault case or civilly liable in a sexual assault case. And he is going to have to pay five million dollars. If those kinds of lawsuits keep coming up, I just think it's there's a, there's a certain amount of fatigue he had on people before. He's going to continue to have on them now.